anywhere on her condition? No, not yet. But Detective Ford said he would keep us posted. So, where was she exactly? Right there, lying face up in the water. Got a little of course, huh? Last I checked, the speedway wasn't on any NATO trail. They just couldn't understand what could bring a young woman out this way. Not exactly a place to keep out of your own. All right. I'm gonna take a look around. On well, what they were looking for, hoping to find something to ID the girl. Hey, Rogers, over here. Based on the proximity to where the victim's body was found, we thought the purse might be hers, but couldn't confirm. Missing ID. Let's keep looking. Maybe fell somewhere. Yeah? Hey, it's Ford. Bad news. Our Vic didn't make it. Found two 22 caliber slugs in her neck and head. Safe to say, we're looking at a homicide here. Okay. I'm gonna finish up around here and I'm heading my way over there. Thanks. Hey, boss, check this out. 22 caliber. Let's bag it. I'm willing to bet that belongs to our killer. What do I mean? Not much. Bad coffee and a lot of blank stares. Any lead on the family? No, not yet. Been through all the missing persons report, but none match her description. Pretty girl. Somebody's sure to miss her. I see what I can do to get her description out there. Afternoon, ma'am. I'm a Sergeant Montañez with the San Bernardino Sheriff Department, and this is Detective Ford. Is everything okay? Afraid not. We're here about Raquel Reyes. Is that your daughter? Yes. They told her that they found Raquel. Explains what it feels like to be hit with news like this. Ma'am, I want you to know we're going to do everything we can to find the person responsible. But we don't know much right now. We just found her purse. The ID wasn't there. Do you have any idea why? Okay. Things you could give me a list of names. People she might see in the last few days. So nice place you have in here. Is that what you came to talk about? No. I'm here about Raquel. Oh man, I heard. I still can't believe it. So sad. So... How do you guys know each other? Being friends long? No, not really. Just known her through my boyfriend, Steven. Oh, that's right. They were dating. Well, yeah, but that was a long time ago. Still, must be awkward all of you guys living one together. And kind of makes me wonder. Were things really over? Does it? No, it wasn't like that. I'm with Christina now, and Raquel had moved on too. We're just friends, roommates. That's it. Roommates, right? So why is it that two days after your roommate is murdered, you're hiding out at a motel? They shut off our power. What are we supposed to do? It's hot, man. We live in the desert. Look, I didn't do this. I wasn't even in town that night, okay? So where were you then? I drove out to my parents' house to ask them for money. Spent the weekend there. Steven, too. Just call them. They'll tell you. Okay. 
Let's do that. That's it? For now. I'll be around. What the... What is this? What do you have an idea of that girl? Uh, I, I can explain. Yeah, you better explain it fast. She gave it to me. Power bill was in her name. I needed it to try to sort everything out. Yeah, yeah. I swear I was going to return it, but I couldn't get in touch with her. I didn't even know where she was staying. She hadn't been home in days. Please, you got to believe me. Hey, Sarge, you got a sec? Don't go anywhere. Don't move. What is it? Had Rogers looking through a stack of tapes I got from the Burger Shack surveillance footage. Oh yeah? Just got a call from him. Sounds like he had found something. All right, let's go.